Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. In the last episode we came to Elden Crater Canyon uh, uh, Volcano. Sorry, I was thinking to myself, like yeah, close. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we made our way to Elden Volcano and in this episode we are going to be going through the area at the base of the volcano and trying to find the location of that possible third stone tablet. You know there's like there's another goddess stone. Get off of that, thank you. Oh, not what I meant to. Oh, crap. Last time I played this was by myself and it was in handheld mode. <laughs> and when you do that you have to like aim down and then just hit the right trigger. So <laughs> when I did that it was like I just dropped it. Here is the other goddess cube. Okay, now. Do it up. Oh, I know the stranger. And you're not one of those red creeps either. Where this neighborhood's getting crummier every day. Huh? No, nothing. Just talking to myself. Hey, I saw this funny dress character go into that hole over there. Might be the friend you're looking for. You want to know what this poop was wearing? Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he. The getup was blackish. Other than that, I don't remember much. You like the accent I came up with for that guy? Like, lightly British. Almost more Australian, but. Mm. Well, another one bites dust. Oh. 
Yeah, it's a lot harder than whenever I was doing it on the uh, in handheld mode. Yeah, I got one. There we go. Sorry, that required a lot of focus. Uh, let's see. Up here. See that tiny little like smoke skull <laughs> that came out of you know. Hmm. This one you gotta actually roll up. Mm. Like, it's got a, like a curve on it, but it doesn't curve. That time it curved, but the opposite way it said it was going to. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, you gotta be like mindful of like how you built the control on the way back up because I used to do that in we bowling all the time almost like all of my family back whenever we used to play we bowling and like we sports and stuff um we all had like we were all right handed and whenever we would bowl, we would like throw our arm up like this, but it was like by the time it got up here, it was like this. So you had to overcompensate because you knew that it was you were gonna like accidentally steer it left just by default because you're an idiot <laughs> and don't don't know how to keep your arms straight. And then, rather than simply you know, correcting the uh, the issue, or correcting like your the way that you throw the ball, we just. Uh, Overcorrected, which we'll just aim way to the right. Called, we all called it our like our handicap. <laughs> yeah, sneak attack. Wait, you ain't one of those red guys. Don't creep up on me like that. I almost had to tackle you there. Didn't mean to tell. Didn't mean to yell at you. Those red jerks move in and have been stinking up our turf, you know. It came up through that hole back there, so I sunk the road leading to it in lava. That'll stop more of them from moving in, I'd say. Of course, we can tunnel underneath it, so it's no sweat for us. Pretty clever, right? But stay away from the plug that's pulling back the lava. It'll do more than send your brows off. I know.
All right, so here is the play. I'm gonna roll this ball all the way across this like fossilized dinosaur spine and like nestle it in the area like right at the end where it's kind of like got a dip. First try. Oh, jeez. Alright, so this, we're going to have to dive, and it's going to be like we're falling um, from our loft wing, and so we're going to have to use the sail cloth, but there are some platforms on the way down um, that we're going to want to hit, like the uh, goddess, for instance. Yep. 
Elden Ore. Interesting. Ah, jeez. If I miss it a third time, I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> It'll be there. It'll be there when we're ready for it. Who would it? How could I have known? How could I have known? Okay. Who? Mm -hmm. All right. He jumped to his death? He's just jelly. I didn't even see a, a red puddle on the floor. Relax, guys. He's made of red jello. Those creeps just shimmied on in and took over our territory. What are you doing? Don't be sneaking up on me like that. You're looking for your friend? Can't help you there. Nobody's come through here, so maybe they went up the mountain from over that way. Uh, wish someone would chase these clowns out of here. Alright, man. Well, first of all, Jill. To come in peace in a few more places. I'm like doing, I'm trying the horizontal slashes, I swear. It's just not working. Are you serious? Die! Wait a minute. I remember this now. There is a guy up here who is blowing a horn that just keeps signaling more of them to come. There we go. Also, see that chest right there? Right there. I like that I can do that. Um, remember that chest. Whoa, you took out every last one of them. You're damn right I did, buddy. You're goddamn right I did. One tough customer. Thanks for your help. I don't blame you for not knowing this, but 
This Mogman is always on our jets. Let me give you something to prove it. Any special requests? Um. Well, we all know rubies are useless. That's an Ocarina of Time joke. If you know, you know. But no, we're, we need to get out of here. Alright. Trying to find your friend, aren't you? In that case, take these things. There's something pretty special if I say so myself. You got the digging mitts. Use these sharp claws to dig through patches of soft earth. Sure to try digging with A anywhere you see signs that something's been buried in soft ground. These you should be able to get to the top of that ledge right behind me. Just try digging in that hole below the ledge. You're in for a surprise. I just hope your friend hasn't been captured by those red guys. Here's hoping everything is okay. Well thanks, Knackles. What a guy. What a guy. Am I right? Amarilla? Oh, okay. So you can tell that I've only played this game once and it was not recently <laughs> because I forgot that these are just always on. La la la. But, um, anyway. That's going to be it for the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. It really means a lot to me and uh, gives me motivation to keep making videos for you guys and make more videos and make them more frequently. Um, if uh, if you know anyone that, that would like me or my content, then uh, share this video with them or a video that you uh, like or find funny or interesting or something and uh subscribe if you're not and maybe they'll subscribe too but uh anyways uh i've been nate asher and i will see you guys next time bye